Hi and welcome to Moo ICT Flappy Bird Game Tutorial version 2. In this tutorial, we will be making a multi-form Flappy Bird game with a lot of features. In this game, you will be able to save your high score on the local disk, so when you start the game again, it will remember the score. You will be able to pick a different bird or pipe image for the game simply by clicking on them. Uh, we will explore how to program a game reset on the game, so you will need to go back to the main window to play the game again. We will add different sound effects to the game. We will change the pipe speed when the player score goes above a certain amount. All of the game Im images will be loaded from an external folder. And there's a lot more features we will add during the game development. All of our hard work will result to this. You can customize the game's gameplay with any bird or pipe image that you pick from the title screen. We will design the user interface for the game from the ground up. We will also add all the components we need such as labels, picture boxes, buttons, panels and timer. While we are designing the game, I will explain the process step by step. Uh, we will work on the native.net and c -sharp programming. We are not using any games engine for this project, so we will need to code everything ourselves. That includes the keyboard events, timer events, collision, uh, game function, game end function and more. All of the components we'll be working on will be explained during this tutorial. We will demonstrate two ways to publish your application in Visual Studio. First way is to create a MSI and an EXE file to install the application through an installation wizard. We will help you create this installation wizard including all your important files, folders and shortcuts into it. Second way, we will create a portable single EXE file where users will simply just need to download and play your game without needing to install anything. After the game has been built, we will add additional graphics to the game such as more players and more pipes. Since all of these files are being loaded externally from the program, we won't need to code anything to add these graphics and we will show you how to do that during the tutorial. With this we will be able to mix and match our gameplay even more than before. If you are excited about making this fully customizable Flappy Bird game, please join me on this fun course on Udemy.